okay if this is the first time opening this kind of file that I'm sending you from here on you will now have the faculty to use your rig in Blender and also in Unreal Engine this is great by implementing the rig to u5 add-on so whenever you're animating you're going to click rigify control rig whenever you need to fix the weights you're going to select the root rig and if you're going to modify the original source that is going to be the meta rig but what makes it cool by using the rig to u5 is that you immediately switch the selection of those rigs by just clicking on these buttons we call them pages and if you would like more information about how rig to u5 works please do not miss all of the playlist videos that i have on my channel but basically you have the animate page where you can animate your entire character from there on you're going to create a new action push that action into the NLA and then just click FBX to U5 and that will send your animation to Unreal Engine and that's basically it from the Blender side. So let's talk about the properties about this model. If you go to object mode and select the rig you're going to have in the properties this junk. I don't know why it happens but I cannot get rid of this. Anyways the important thing here is the outlines. If you click the outlines all of the objects in the viewport are going to activate their own outline so you can see the outline in the viewport however that makes it so laggy so that's why I made a toggle so that you can turn it on and off this is only available when you're selecting your rig in object mode the second cool thing is that when you go into pose mode and you're in the rigify control rig you can grab the hat bone and as you can see if you raise it up the hair also conforms to the shape of the hat you will also notice that you have different bone constraints here so you can make it child of the head which is the active function or you can lower that to zero and send this influence to one either for the hand R or the hand L so one, only one of these constraints can be active at the time so this is something that you can activate to put the constraints in either hand. The second constraint is this gun. The way it works is that if you put this influence to one, the gun is going to go to the hand. And the idea there is that you can move the hand closer to the gun. So if you grab the hand and you put it close to the gun, the animation, now you need to make this a child of this by moving this influence. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to select this and move it there. And immediately it will snap. So from there on, it is the child off. And then you can, you know, do whatever you need to do with the hand and the gun. Of course, you're going to pose it in a much better way than I am doing right now. But you get the idea. So if you put this back, I don't know, she puts this back in the holster, whatever. Uh, the gun is going to go back into its original position and your hand is free to go. And you can do that exactly the same for the head yeah that's um, in a snappy what you can do here with the with these controllers you also have facial controllers so you can move the eyes this original model is not thought to blink okay so I did not create a blinking shape or a better blinking controls this is a model thought for a video game looking for from afar basically this is what you're going to be seeing the entire game so that's why I did not create any blinking eyes so yeah that's that's the entire thing in just five minutes I hope you enjoy it and let me know if you have any kind of questions uh, about this model and please if you would like to consider buying the rig to u5 please let me know beforehand because I have some coupons giveaway and I can give them to you if you're willing to use and publish your uh, public review on the Gumroad page and on the Blender Market page. Let me know if you're interested in that. Thank you. Last but not least, if you activate the viewport and come into Always, you're going to have the background in the compositors. You're going to see that it's... Um, it's an attached image for the background and therefore you can move your character again if you want to completely look like tomb shading don't forget to act select 
the rigging object mode and activate the outlines and you will have the outlines ready. In the Unreal Engine project you will see that your bionic character girl is ready to do whatever operation you want. If you want to create the IK rig you can just right click come into create and use IK rig. It will immediately create the asset, double click on it and you just click auto create IK rigs and then auto create retarget change. You will also get that 100% accuracy so your character is ready to be IK retargeted. That's a great thing. And also you can do this workflow by right clicking create and then activating the modular control rig and it will immediately activate the control rig for this character. Don't forget that this is all by the actions of the plugin rig to U5 and from there on you can start doing the workflow. You can follow the video that I have on the channel for the playlist. So all the workflows have been already included there so that you can control your character inside Unreal Engine as well and animate it as if you were in Blender.